Prince Harry and Meghan are being encouraged to distance themselves from the despicable individuals who are maliciously attacking Kate. Hi. Before we continue please subscribe to the channel for more British royal family news. Prince Harry and Meghan have been called upon to distance themselves from the despicable individuals who relentlessly attack Kate on social media. Before her recent video message, there was much speculation surrounding Princess Kate's well-being, until she revealed that she is undergoing treatment for cancer. A royal commentator has questioned why Harry and Meghan have not spoken out against these vile trolls who target Kate online. Despite not being informed about her illness beforehand, Harry and Meghan released a statement expressing their wishes for Kate's health and privacy. It is also known that they have privately reached out to the princess. Royal reporter Phil Dampier has raised the question of why the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have not distanced themselves from their so-called fans who engage in this harmful behaviour towards Kate. In January, Kate underwent a significant abdominal surgery, and it was announced that she would not resume her royal duties until after Easter. In her address, the princess expressed her gratitude for the support and understanding she has received during her recovery. Our family has endured an arduous couple of months, but I have been blessed with an exceptional medical team who have provided me with exceptional care, for which I am deeply grateful. In the month of January, I underwent a significant surgical procedure in the vibrant city of London. Initially, it was believed that my condition was benign. The surgery was a success. However, subsequent tests revealed the presence of cancer. Consequently, my medical team advised that I undergo a preventive course of chemotherapy, and I am currently in the early stages of this treatment. Royal commentator Richard Eden speculated that Kate's decision to not communicate with Harry and Meghan prior to the announcement implies a greater lack of trust in them compared to journalists, who were informed earlier in the day to prepare for the statement. Since their relocation to California in 2020, the Sussexes have had minimal contact with the Waleses, with Harry and Prince William still entangled in a bitter feud, the Duke is expected to return to London in May for the 10th anniversary celebrations of the Invictus Games, but it remains uncertain whether he will have an encounter with his brother during his time in the UK. Furthermore, it has not been confirmed whether Meghan will accompany him as she has refrained from travelling to the UK since the funeral of Queen Elizabeth in September 2022, Harry has maintained communication with his father, King Charles, and swiftly rushed to Clarence House upon hearing the news of his own cancer diagnosis at the beginning of February, while the King may be more inclined to reconcile with his younger son. Winning over William will prove to be more challenging, particularly after the explosive revelations in Spare, that portrayed the Prince and Princess of Wales in an unfavourable light. Thank you for watching till the end. Please do share your thoughts in the comments section and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more updates.